I'm Catherine, author of The Single Girl's Guide to Meeting European Men. I normally script my videos, but in this one, I gave people free license to say whatever they wanted to about my book. And let me tell you, when you just turn on the camera and let her roll, life can get pretty interesting. My name's Caitlin, and I just graduated from the UW. Go dogs! I read Meeting European Men, and I loved it. So ladies, if you're looking for a European man at home, my descendants came over on the Mayflower. That's European enough. When I studied abroad in Ireland, I fell in love with 18 Irish men. However, in Italy, I only fell in love with 16. You don't have to go to places like Model Mayhem to get pictures of pretty girls. Just go to Catherine's Facebook page and tell them Drew sent you. Originally, I thought my book was just for single girls. Well, the title is The Single Girl's Guide, but I was in for a surprise. So one thing that you'll notice about Catherine's book, if you check it out on Amazon, is it's not just college girls and women who love her book, it's also men. My name's Matt and I'm American, and this book works too well. I'd much rather you girls use your hair flicks and tricks on attractive American men right here in the United States like me. All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. Why did I read Catherine's book? I'll tell you. Any chance that you have to get inside the mind of a woman is a chance you take. I did and I loved it. As a doctor, I'm well versed with the female anatomy, but not necessarily with the mysteries of the female mind. That's why I prescribe this book to any guy interested in learning the intricacies of the female psyche. Another reason I like the book is because I went to the book signing and it was a great place to meet hot women like the author. Some of the advice that Catherine gives to women work just as well for a man who's looking for their own woman. For example, Let's say you want to land a European hottie. Learn about her culture, it'll win her heart. The people in this video came from a variety of places. Some attended book signings or philanthropy book events. Some joined my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Then I met others through articles written about meeting European men. Hi, my name's Abby, and what I liked about the book is that it's all about having a really good time, whether you have a European man at your side or not. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Nomura, and I'm assistant editor at the Bellevue Scene magazine. Hi, I'm Alexandra, and I'm 18, and I'm starting college in the fall. I also have plans to do study abroad in Spain. I'm Kate, I'm 20 years old and a junior at UCLA. The last two years I've been studying French and I can't wait to graduate so I can go to France and try out all these great tips on the French men. One thing I really loved about the book, being a huge Sex in the City fan, is that Catherine, to me, is kind of like the travel version of Carrie Bradshaw. Other dating books which I have read have been vague, but Catherine's offers proven step-by-step -step instructions to meeting, dating, and flirting with foreign men. So all you Spaniards, when I come to Spain, I'm using these tips on you. <laughs> Not that I've ever needed an excuse to go shopping before, but thanks to Catherine, I've gotten just that. Now that I know that European men will notice a girl in their home brands, well, let's just say before my hot night on the town, I have a date with my credit card. It doesn't matter what you like or what you're into, the book is all about having a good time while you're in Europe. Whether you want to have a really glamorous evening in the city of Rome, or maybe you want to do something more adventurous, like go camping or hiking in Iceland. A lot of the advice in the book can be applied to everyday life, and it seems like there's a success story for everyone. Now I want to go to Europe. Catherine did a great job of describing all of the countries she went to. For example, when I read the section on the Czech, she did a perfect job of describing Prague. It was a party scene just like she described. The language she used about the culture and history was perfect. Meeting European men is like a choose your own adventure novel, plus how to make it an even better adventure once you've found your man. I love how it is written in such a funny, lighthearted way. It's very relatable and fun to read. Because I'm in high school, I read a lot, and so when I read for enjoyment, I love it if it can make me laugh, which this book did. This book is fun and bubbly. European men, I'm single and ready to mingle. Besides single girls and guys, moms, aunts, uncles, and even grandparents have shown up at book signings. This book kicks ass. It really does, and I'm so jealous. I wish I'd had this book when I was in college. And I think it's gonna be great for my nieces when they grow up. It's gonna be great for my daughter. 
As a teacher of a little over 40 years in language arts and social studies, I really do like the fact that Catherine is respectful of both the men and women she portrays. But Catherine, this is what I want to know. Where was your book when I graduated from college? I have known a few European men in my day. There was Rudolf Nureyev. There was Denis Salzman. There was, well, I can't mention his name because it got a little bit passionate there for a while, but they were all adorable men and I had a wonderful time. So I thought the book was great because it takes a girl's perspective of meeting men and having relationships with men. And there are so many guys' books out there, but really not too many of the girls' side of things. That's true. And I think information is empowering. It's about time that women were given a choice. They can go out and be the little angel, or they can go out and get laid. I was an airline pilot for 30 years, and I know how important it is to, to have a good time when you travel. and and have a good adventure. We have a large family, eight granddaughters and five greats. Six now. Oh my gosh. Is it... <laughs> so my wife got a copy of this book for her niece and she made me read it. And I liked it. Uh, I, was, I lived in Europe for many years and I've seen tourists come and go and most of them stop and see the sights. Uh, they see the Eiffel Tower check, Leaning Tower of Pisa check. But very few of them really get immersed into the culture, the romance uh, of the places that they're touring. This book delves deep into that. So do yourself a favor, ladies. Get the most out of your hard-earned vacation and check out this book. As a person who has traveled around the world, I feel that Catherine's book is a wonderful tool for improving international relations. Catherine's book addresses both fun and safety, and we appreciate that. Another reason I like the book is because Catherine includes both her adventures and misadventures, and that's what keeps the book real. You know, a really interesting thing I noticed about this guide is that it doesn't really matter how old you are. You can use the information that is in this guide to go meet European men. That's right. And I'm an Italian instructor, and I have ladies of all ages who would love this book because they're looking to meet some European men. You know, I think we should go to Europe and maybe meet some European men. You might have an idea there, Renee. Mm -hmm. Except for one problem. And what's that? I'm married. Ah, uh, me too. Even widowed grandmas have asked me to sign their books. They say that it's never too late to start dating again, which I think is awesome because it's not like there's an age limit for romance. I'm Mona Bell Miller. I am 80 years old and I am in search for my fifth husband. I have been thinking about this seriously and I decided I would go to France after reading this wonderful book about meeting European men because Marie Chevalier, who was a wonderful, wonderful vaudevillian from France, said there is no such thing as an older woman, there are only younger men. Oh, and apparently we're raising a future generation of fans for meeting European men. I want you to meet my little cousins. I'm meeting my tips. I'm planning my trip to Paris. Hey, you can't read. Yes, I can. You may have been wondering why I've been talking to you in a lavender field. Well, I let people in this video decide wherever they wanted to film. And I chose here because in France and Italy, they have these absolutely amazing lavender fields. For other interesting or important cultural, historical, or man-meeting facts about Europe, read The Single Girl's Guide to Meeting European Men.